Hey! Hi! How you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. So let's talk about Earthfall. What is Earthfall? It's a first-person shooter, PvE-focused, inspired by and in the same vein of Left 4 Dead. Four players versus constant waves and hordes of enemies, but replace the zombies with aliens. Now for those of you who know anything about me, have probably already guessed that this is ticking a lot of my boxes. First-person shooter, PvE focused, hordes of enemies, alien invasion? Yes, 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 yes. So late last year, or early this year, can't quite remember, I decided to purchase and support the game in early access. And while I certainly liked what was there, it had a lot of rough edges and a lot of room for improvement particularly when it came to animation and sound. The game just needs some polish in those departments to help the shooting look and feel just right. So I let Earthfall stew in my Steam library in early access for several, several months waiting for the game to be fully released. Then, come July 12, 2018, game leaves early access. The reviews start coming in and they're mixed, unfortunately middling to negative. Now, I was busy with other video games at the time before I could hop onto Earthfall. One of those, I'll get to it when I get to it kind of situations. And while I wasn't playing the game at the time, I was hearing about what the developers were doing after launch. Despite the middling and even negative reviews, the devs didn't quit, they didn't abandon the game, they didn't take the money and run. Instead, it's just been patch and hotfix and free content updates one after the other. And keep in mind, the game has no microtransactions and it has only a single piece of payable DLC, which is just some more cosmetics, some skins for your characters and weapons. But outside of this one cosmetic pack DLC, the game has just been releasing brand new free content non-stop. New cosmetics, weapons, a brand new level. And most recently, with their Invasion update, which is when I finally played the game again since early access. And keep in mind, once again, this is all free. A brand new game mode, a horde mode, Player progression, which wasn't in the game at launch. New player skills, which gives players brand new abilities and mechanics to work with that you unlock over time as part of the new player progression system. Brand new redone sound effects, which I can confirm are much better than the original sound effects. Weapon sound so much better, crisp, cleaner, and more powerful. And lastly, a mountainous ton of brand new cosmetics that you can unlock through the progression system. God. Damn, these developers aren't messing around. They are genuinely passionate about their game and about their player base. So much so, they're doing something that I don't see a lot of developers doing. They actually let the community submit suggestions and vote on them in terms of future features and content they want to see in the game. So yeah, if you weren't paying attention to Earthfall or didn't have any interest in Earthfall, Maybe you should. This middle market first person shooter has a lot of potential in its future. And after the invasion update, I can safely say the game is better than ever. As a matter of fact, it's pretty damn good in its current state. It's quite impressive how quickly the devs reacted to criticism of their game and improved it. I mean, Hollow Spark, the developers, didn't need to redo all the sound effects for their weapons, but that was a common criticism in a lot of reviews that the gun sound effects didn't feel powerful enough. But the devs didn't ignore that criticism, they took it to heart, and so they improved the gun sound effects, they invested time and money, and now the weapons sound and feel better than ever. Well, at least in my experience from early access, I didn't get to play the game at launch. Alright, now, how is the game itself? Well, let me share with you my thoughts, feelings, and opinions on Earthfall. First up, graphics. The game runs on the Unreal 4 engine and makes good use of it. The lighting is excellent. Texture work and detail is a bit all over the place. There are some parts of the environments in different levels that look absolutely gorgeous, and others that look quite a bit muddy and are obviously reusing quite a few assets. Also, particle effects look all right. I mean, they're acceptable, they get the job done, but I've seen other games use the Unreal 4 engine and have much more detailed and impressive particle effects before. But hey, this is a middle market indie game. Gotta give it a break, gotta give it some slack. Some of the absolute best work when it comes to the graphics, however, are some of the character models. While the human models look alright, it's the aliens and the gun models that really steal the show. All of the aliens look fantastic and are really well detailed, and the same goes for the guns. And since the aliens and the weapons are arguably the most important parts, most important aspects of this game, 
I think it's safe to say the developers were focusing on the main appeal of the game, so props to them for that. Up next, I want to talk about the story. Now, the story as presented in-game is serviceable. It does its job. Little hints of exposition, little hints of character development for the main playable cast, introductions and a tad bit of development for some side characters, but just not enough for me to get attached to or care about any of the characters or even the main cast. Honestly, in my opinion, when it comes to the Left 4 Dead style of game, I hold wholeheartedly believe that the Warhammer Vermintide series are the best games in terms of memorable, likable, well-developed characters and well-presented in-game story. Now, while Earthfall may not be the best in terms of in-game story presentation and characters, where Earthfall does succeed with flying colors is the unlockable lore. There's some actually really decent, well-written, funny pieces of lore that you can unlock. For the characters, aliens, and weapons, it adds some really nice detail and its own flavor of character to the world of Earthfall. As these lore blurbs, these paragraphs of text are written from the perspective of survivors of the alien apocalypse. This is some pretty solid stuff and I'm looking forward to unlocking and reading all the lore. Now it's time to talk about the most important important part of the game, the gameplay. And in terms of first-person shooter gameplay, it's pretty good. And I'm very impressed with all the improvements since Early Access. As a matter of fact, my specific issues from when Earthfall was in Early Access have been addressed. Better animations, they're more smooth and fluid. The majority of the jank and stiffness has been removed. And with the improved animations and the brand new improved sound effects, guns sound, look, and feel pretty good. Now, Earthfall doesn't have any unique mechanics. It's a very easy first-person shooter to pick up and play and get into. You got sprinting, aiming down sights, a two-weapon limit. For your second weapon slot, you can equip a pistol, dual-wield pistols, or a melee weapon. You got a melee shove to push enemies back if they get too close. There's nothing brain-straining or innovative here. It's your similar, average, respectable first-person shooting mechanics and controls that absolutely have some resemblance to and are inspired by Left 4 Dead. But the real highlights of the gameplay, especially for me personally, are the guns and the aliens. Well, given the type of game that this is, I'm sure that doesn't come as a surprise. My favorite weapons have to be the Harbinger minigun, the Fang grenade launcher, and the Valkyrie. It's just so much fun mowing down, blowing up, and just decimating the swarms of aliens. With these particular weapons, I always get a big smile on my face when I happen to see one and pick it up. Even though these are technically the most powerful weapons the game, the power weapons, the heavy weapons, the standard weapons, the shotgun, the SMG, the assault rifle are all solid, all do their job pretty well. The melee weapons are okay, you can get a combat shovel, a fire axe, and a machete. They're alright, chopping up the enemies with the melee weapons can be fun, but melee combat is not Earthfall's strong suit. I find the guns much more fun than the melee. Now the aliens! I love the designs of the aliens, and there's a healthy variety of types of them too. Just enough to keep you on your toes and have the right amount of strategy and depth and tactics. Have you be mindful mindful of your surroundings and your engagements. You've got the drone, spitter drone, heavy drone, sapper, whiplash, fresher, enrager, blackout, and the beast. All the different enemy alien types serve their role, serve their purpose well enough, and I found them mostly fun to fight and kill. However, this leads to an issue I have with the game, and that's the game's rating. Earthfall is rated T for teen, so the amount of violence, visceral, visual feedback when shooting and killing enemies is limited. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of blood, and the drones in particular have a pretty decent dismemberment system, being able to shoot off, blow off heads and limbs, but there's barely any blood. You look at Earthfall, and then you look at something like, say, Killing Floor 2, Left 4 Dead, of course. The Vermintide games. One of the reasons those games are so satisfying is the violence, the blood, the gore, the violent visual representations of you killing and defeating your enemies. Earthfall has some of that. Like I said earlier, the gunplay feels good, and the enemies are fun to fight and kill, but for me, at least, it's not nearly as satisfying without that extra blood and gore. Now, I can understand if the developers were aiming for a T rating in order to help the game appeal to a wider audience. I personally don't agree. I think they should have went for an M rating. But again, that's just my personal opinion. However, despite the game being rated T, I'm surprised they couldn't get away with more violence. I mean, we're killing aliens here, not people. The aliens have orange blood, not red, so I just thought maybe perhaps they could have gotten away with a bit more blood, bit more gore, bit more violence, since they're aliens and not people. Then again, Again, my knowledge of rating systems is limited, and what I do know about rating systems is that they are usually ridiculous and very pedantic. 
So while I do enjoy Earthfall's gunplay, gameplay, enemies, I do feel like there was, or perhaps still is, potential for it to be even more fun and satisfying. Now, in terms of game modes and what you'll be actually doing in the game besides shooting hordes of aliens, well, if you've played Left 4 Dead, if you've played Vermintide, if you've played Payday, then you will be right at home playing Earthfall's campaign levels. You know those objectives that have you interacting with a bunch of objects and moving one object from point A to B? Protecting a certain an object, escorting an object, surviving the horde till extraction. In terms of objectives in this video game subgenre, Earthfall does not raise the bar, it does not innovate. And there's nothing wrong with that, there's nothing objectively wrong with that. No brand new video game is obligated to innovate in any way. That being said, however, if you have played a game in the Left 4 Dead first person shooter co-op horde-esque genre, you may be getting some senses of deja vu and repetition. There is, however, a decent variety to all the different campaign levels in the game. Visual variety, level design variety, all that's pretty good and kept me interested and engaged and having fun despite the familiar and repetitious objectives. Where I've actually had the most fun in Earthfall is actually in its brand new Horde mode. The recently added Invasion mode just gets straight to the heart and the core of Earthfall, shooting aliens. In Invasion mode, you have to survive 20 waves of enemies, each wave getting harder and harder. Killing enemies in this mode grants you credits that you can spend on purchasing upgrades for your character, new weapons, activate very devastating traps. Invasion is a solid Horde mode. I actually find myself having quite a lot of fun with it. It's a fun and decent challenge. A satisfying showcase of the potential fun to be had with Earthfall's gameplay and gunplay. So, that's Earthfall. While I understand the comparisons to Left 4 Dead, the game is obviously inspired by it, I think a lot of gamers, a lot of critics, have just pushed the comparisons between these two games way too hard, critiquing the game as a Left 4 Dead game instead of its own individual IP. Personally, there's a lot of things about Earthfall that I actually like more than Left 4 Dead. So while I do recommend the game to gamers who like this subgenre, to the Left 4 Dead purists and fanatics who live, breathe, and sleep Left 4 Dead, I highly doubt this game will be able to satisfy your craving for a Left 4 Dead free, but hey, maybe I'm wrong, everyone's different. I still find Earthfall to be a fun first-person shooter that's maybe worth a try. Anyways, that's been the video. I hope you liked the video. If you did indeed like the video in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to like button and the like button up too. Helps me, helps everybody involved in the video. If you hit the like button, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. I love reading comments, getting nearly enough comments. Please leave a comment. If you want to help out and support this video, then please share it on social media, Twitter, and Facebook. If you want to help out and support me directly, well, there's always Patreon. Anyways, guys, that's been a video, and I'll see you all later.